In this video, I'm going to help you get familiar with color models and color palettes inside Corel Draw. What is a color palette? A color palette is a set of colors in a group meant to be used for a certain kind of output. You use these color palettes to apply fills and outline colors to text and art you create. The primary color groups or models are RGB, CMYK, and spot color. Some common uses for these color models are CMYK for offset and digital printing, RGB for web graphics, sublimation, and laser engraving, and spot colors can be used for screen printing, vinyl cutting, and other printing methods. Some colors cannot be printed in CMYK, so sometimes a spot color is used to acquire an exact color match. And in each color model or color palette, each color has specific values or names. For example, this blue color all looks the same, but they are actually three different color models. This one is CMYK, and it has CMYK values. This one is RGB, and it has RGB values. And this is spot color 299. Now let me show you where to find the palettes inside Corel Draw. Let's open the palette docker, going to the window menu, and dockers, and palettes. It's off my screen, but it's about just past halfway down in the menu. And click it, and we'll open the docker. And in here, you will see a wide array of stock palettes to choose from. If you want to turn them on, you just have to hit a, the box next to the name, and it will activate the palette. You can have multiple palettes on at the same time. So for example, if you need a PMS spot color Pantone palette, or you need a Roland palette, come up here to spot, click the arrow, and click the arrow again to find the Roland palettes. They're under here. If you need the Pantone palettes, they're up under this arrow, and there's multiple uh, palettes to choose from. And we can open up this one, and if we want to turn on solid, solid coded, click here. And now you can drag the palette anywhere you want in the interface. If you prefer it at the top of the document, you can drag it to the top of the document. Or if you like them all on the side, you can drag them to the side as well. Another handy palette to turn on is the document palette. This palette holds the colors in your current document. Some get added automatically, and others you can drag from objects into that palette. It's a quick and easy way to manage the colors inside your document. To open the document palette, you can click it here in the palette docker, or you can go to Window, Color Palettes, and Document Palette to turn it on. So if we want to add these colors to the palette, I can drag this object right on the palette, and it will add those colors to the palette. The document palette is saved with the document, so that if you take your file to a different system, you'll have it there as well. Custom palettes you create and save may be in my palettes. Here I have a custom palette in my workspace. Now let me show you where some of the options for the color palettes are. At the left end of each palette is a little arrow. If you click that, it gives you the options for that specific palette. A common option that you can set is to set it as the default if you want that palette to pop up into the various menus inside Corel Draw when you choose colors. Uh, you can set more rows of colors to appear and you can show the color names if you need. If you need to get to the interface options inside Corel, you can click customize and it will take you to more options about the color palette. I'm going to hit cancel. If you need to make custom palettes, there are even more options under the window menu and color palettes. Here you can make palettes from a selection or a document, and you can go to the palette editor. Now that you have a good understanding of what and where the color palettes are, let me show you the basics of applying colors to objects. It can be done in several ways. First, you can select an object and click a color in the palette. You can remove a color by selecting an object and clicking the no color swatch at the left end of a palette. If you left click, it will remove the fill. If you right click, it will remove the outline. You can right drag with an object by selecting the object and right dragging to another object when you see the little target, let go, and you can choose copy fill here or other options. You can select an object and set the outline color by using your right click and clicking on a color in a palette. To get to the main edit fill dialog box, you can come down here and double click the fill bucket. And in here you can set any colors you need, pick on the palette and pick a yellow and click OK. You can also adjust outline thicknesses by double clicking on the pen tool and you can set the thickness and you can also set the color. There are also other options you can set inside the outline pen dialog box. 
You can use the eyedropper from the toolbar to select a color and fill it into a, another fill or outline. If you want a tint in an object, select the object, come to the color palette, and click the color and hold it. And now it will give you tints of that color to choose from. So if we want a, do a darker part of the back of the banner, uh, it will fill it with that color. And if you want to repeat the color you just did, select another object and use the shortcut Control-R to repeat that step. Now I have a bonus color tip for you. If you select an object and you then use the Control key and a color, so I'm going to hold Control and click on this blue, every time I left click, it will add 10% of that color to your object. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to the tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and the exercise file to follow along. You will also find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.